three of wands. All right. So what are we expecting, Virgo? What have we been manifesting? What have we been trying to create in our lives here? Um, I kind of get this feeling with the three of wands. You've already sent out a message or something to somebody. And you're waiting for a response. You're trying to see where things are going to lead. But I feel that like you're still doing you. You're not stopping at any point. You're just kind of ready, waiting for the returns to come in. Let's see what you guys have manifested. Well, the Seven of Pentacles. Whatever you guys have been reevaluating. I think there's some things that definitely that may have changed. Or maybe there was a certain focus that needed to change. Maybe you guys were even doubting the relationship for a second there. Some things about the relationship, some of the dynamics, the work that you've been putting in. You may not have been feeling it, seeing it come through. And now you've been like, I feel like you've shifted your focus and or maybe found a new strategy because the Seven of Pentacles talks about reevaluating what maybe you need to do or maybe what the relationship needs to, how the relationship needs to go in order for there to be progress made. And I kind of get the feeling with the, seven, the Three of Wands to have been a lot of work. It may be in the beginning stages, but you're waiting for the return to come in, right? So, the Nine of Pentacles, feeling pretty solid, feeling pretty independent, not needing nobody, which is great, but at the same time, I kind of get the feeling that there is something here that's very exclusive to just you, right? Um, the Nine of Pentacles can indicate there's a gilded cage here, um, an unwillingness to break from this sort of comfortable zone this is a comfort zone right a comfort zone in which you work very hard to finalize and to perfect and it isn't a perfect place it's really good you feel really good about yourself you feel really, really feel really good about your work about you know your lifestyle you, you know the people around you feel pretty good about what you've established for yourself regarding stability comfort and so forth but Either you guys are feeling bored, you guys are either, you know, in a gilded cage at this moment. And it's not necessarily because, you know, you guys are being unreasonable or anything like that. But I feel like it's just that you are in control of your circumstances. And it's not something that you're willing to compromise you're not interested in compromising, so, so, so either a sense of control, stability, some sort of security here. I think there's something going on where maybe even the relationship that you're currently in, if you are in one, you may be feeling very alone, right? Because it may be that you've been, you know, been given things from your partner, or maybe your partner only pays attention to you at certain times, but you truly feel single in the relationship, and that's something that you don't really want to feel, right? Because I kind of get this vibe that with the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, that the situation, it acts almost like a business partnership. Um, some of you guys, it may be feeling like you guys are, you know, just not necessarily just feeling coupley. You know, you're feeling very solo. But at the same time, you're not necessarily too upset about it because you still have control of the situation. So either this is you or the other person. It doesn't have to be you. It could be that someone else is very controlling and it's isolating, right? Because it could be that you know you don't have a lot of options or you don't really feel like you're in control of anything other than yourself. And it's still very isolating because you may as well be single if you can't really feel like you can be yourself. Okay? Now, I'm going to possibly clarify some cards here, actually. Why is the Nine of Pentacles even coming up for the Heart of the Ring for, for Virgo? It's not a bad card. Nine of Pentacles usually isn't. But with the devil coming up in the external energy and the emperor, like, what's happening? Why is the Nine of Pentacles coming up in the heart of the reading for Virgo? The world. So something has completed itself. It's an ev evolution, though. It's a good card to get. You got two good cards. So there's something that may have completed itself. You're like, red, you're like, you feel good. You feel really solid. You feel really stable. You're probably bored, though, because whatever this was, right, you've already celebrated. You already completed it. You've already evolved from it. So it's like, what do you do now? Are you ready to take the next step? And I feel like y'all are. I feel like you guys are. Even though it was probably really difficult in the past to make the decision to do it, right? To do, go ahead and make something happen. 
Now, like I said, some of y'all may be feeling real single right now, and it's because you probably are single. And it's not a bad thing. I feel like this is like an empowering singleness, not necessarily like a sad one. But I feel like you guys are definitely feeling your energy, right? Feeling in the sense of like, you know, stable, solid on your own. Like you, there's nothing here saying that you're not stable and solid on your own. But I do get the feeling that you guys want some excitement, something new, something something going on because you got the three of wands. You're expecting something. You're waiting for something. So what is it that you're waiting for? Well, whatever it was, it was difficult to decide on what it was that you need to do, whether this was communicated truth, you know, open your heart or say something that may have needed to be said from the beginning. But it was, it was maybe love was the blind part, right? The feeling that you got was enough to keep you from speaking your truth in the past, but it had to be said. Whatever it was, you said it. You're open about it, and you've, you've definitely laid your feelings out on the table. And you've taken control of your life with the emperor. Now, this could be you. Now, it could be, now, if this is not you, right? If you're not necessarily feeling the emperor energy, it could be somebody else. Maybe somebody else has definitely, you know, stepped in, been more domineering in the sense of knowing what they want, very directional, very, you know, like, plan oriented. But I kind of get the vibe that this is you, Virgo. You know, you're taking control of your circumstances, of your, of your element, of your, you know, surroundings. No one else has that real control other than you. But the devil is showing up in the external energy which I do want to clarify and that's really an interesting card to get there because there could be that there's some things that maybe you may feel trapped in or maybe there's certain practices or behaviors that don't necessarily allow the beautiful flourishing of your energy to completely you know come out if that makes sense there's something that's restricting you there, there's some things here that may be highly obsessed over Maybe there's somebody around here that's obsessed with you, and you're like, well, I want to do my own thing. I'm, you know, I don't know about this. Maybe you're recognizing this toxic situation from outside of, before you even get into it. But I really want to give, take a closer look at it before I go ahead and give you an idea of what that is, right? But I kind of get this feeling that mostly what I'm getting from the devil and the emperor together, usually I see, read these two as, as the same thing. This is, this is internal, this is external energy. Kind of get a feeling that there's control issues here. So I'm again, some sort of issues of control issues. Not necessarily like a bad thing, but somebody is more inclined to do something because they have the, you know, they have the reins of the situation. You know, they don't want to do anything that compromises their kind of security of what they can do with the situation, right? If they don't have total control, it's probably a no-go. But we'll see. But I truly feel like if this is you, Virgo, which is I do really feel like it's you, you feel more empowered. You feel more in control of yourself. You're definitely dictating what you will and will not do. You're not going to let anybody tell you how you're going to live your life, how you're going to do something. But it also means that you have an idea of what you're going for, it, an idea of what you're, you know, what you're after. Perhaps this is someone that is a little bit more set in their beliefs, set in what they want, you know that's structured and able to kind of take action and do things but you have the king of cups in the future and this is total polar opposite but even though both parties are very yang energy the king of cups is very much passive right so he's always feeling he's always um dreaming but he knows what he wants and he knows what he needs to feel to be able to manifest what he wants. But I feel like, most importantly, this is the ideal lover, right? This is the person that that is very romantic. This person has no problem expressing their emotions and expressing their dreamy way of expressing love, right? So I'm going to see, why is the King of Cups coming up in the future? That's not a bad card. I feel like either you guys become way more romantic or there's somebody that comes in to offer you some, some cup of love, right? Someone that communicates to you how they truly feel. Someone that has no problem with communicating how they feel. They they may even wear their heart on their sleeves. And if this person's coming to you because you're showing such, you know, strong energy. Like this person, the devil may not even be anything toxic. There may not even be control issues. This person may just be drawn to you. Maybe this you feel like this is... There's a tie between you and this individual because that could indicate that too. But let's see what the two King of Cups is coming up as. Why is the King of Cups coming up in the future? Who is the King of Cups? Why is the King of Cups coming up in the future? And who's the King of Cups? Oh. 
You got three cards here. And I'm going to keep all three. I'm going to keep all three. Okay. So you guys have the four of swords. And that's in your hopes and fears. The ace of cups. And that's the new love I was telling you about. And the empress. Now that is literally the... Um, <laughs> the the um the emperor's bay like let's be honest that's his that's his little wifey okay but anyway she ain't little but she's she's pretty doggone awesome herself but this energy tells me that there is somebody that may come into the future or you have someone in mind that is already your ideal person and you may either extend that offer to someone else or this person comes and extends that offer to you. But I feel like with you embodying Emperor Energy, it may be you that communicates to this person and how you truly feel. And in, re in, in a way, it opens up the door to feeling good and um, emotional healing, okay? The King of Cups is a healer. The Ace of Cups is a healing card, and the Four of Swords is a healing card. The Empress is also about taking care of the self. is also is a very nurturing energy, right? She's very she's she's very good at taking care of herself, just as well as she's good at taking care of children, taking care of people. Um, and I feel like this energy here, this energy here, this person is really good at either making you feel loved. It's good at taking care of you. Or maybe allowing you to be more passive, to at least just to just be, not necessarily take action and take control all of the time. Because whatever this emperor energy is, you've been taking a lot of control, right? You've been taking control of your life, taking control of whatever you feel like you need to take control of. Some of you guys may have been initiating a lot more sex, right? You may have known what you guys want, and maybe you're expecting to have some sort of news from a doctor saying that you guys have decided, you know, that you guys are expecting. Some of you guys may be trying to have children. The only card I would, you know, that I'm missing out of that is the sun, which would definitely tell me, okay, maybe this baby's just coming in the mix. Some of you guys have been trying their potential here. But the Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords to me is resting and healing and allowing, you know, and feeling love, right? And, and going after your ideal, creating abundance is the Empress card too. And with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like they're very similar in energy. They may not be exactly the same, but they are definitely similar. And that in the sense of taking care of one another, taking care of each other, and creating abundance. Okay? Taking care of themselves, taking care of others, taking care of their needs, taking care of their, of their, of their business, of, and creating a utopia is one of the biggest things. And I kind of get this feeling that whoever, you, if you're the emperor, you're going to either meet your empress by you communicating, with you know, you're going to know who this empress is if you don't know them already. That or this is this is a healing of a, of a relationship between someone that you already are deeply in love with. This could be someone that, that could be a Taurus energy or a Libra, but I kind of get this feeling that this energy that you guys have here in the future is someone that either you already know Someone that you you know you already you know because you deeply love, or someone that's extremely romantic. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that could come into your life that has intense emotions, and they've gone through some things where they needed to heal, and they're taking a chance and opening to new love as well. So that's there's a lot of stuff going on. So without that being said, why you got the Knight of the King of Pentacles in your best path to follow? Now the King of Pentacles is has no issues was committing to things because he's able to take his time to review something that will determine whether or not it has enough, whether and whether it is valuable enough for him to pursue, to commit to, and to take time to grow. And I kind of get this feeling the King of Pentacles is someone that's committed already. There's someone that's like, it's about the, well, when the advice comes up for him or when he comes up in the best way to follow, it's almost like it's saying that the value of something is there. All there is needed now is commitment to it. Again, could be a Taurus, could be a Virgo Capricorn, because you have double Taurus energy here. And the Empress is, you know, that card does belong to Taurus. Um, it could be that you're dealing with a Taurus energy at this moment. Um, but the King of Pentacles is always finding a solution to a situation. It's always seeing something from its value point and letting that be the focus as to why you want to pursue it. But it, the King of Pentacles, he doesn't just pick something because it's practically sound, but because 
either his moral standards match that too. Like, it, I feel like with the King of Pentacles, he has Earth, he's strong Earth energy, but he has opinions on what is of value to him too. And I feel like if this is something that you see great value in, there isn't anything keeping you necessarily from going in and pursuing it. Let me go ahead and see why you guys have the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles is the Hangman. So this Hangman energy can talk about being stuck in limbo, seeing things from a different angle, through a different perspective. So whatever you may be, you may have been holding out on, changing your perspective on, has to do with what you've either has to do with you know who you commit to, the person that you're in a commitment with, okay? Because the Hangman is about letting go of one perspective and and be open to another. So. I kind of get this vibe that the hangman coming for the king of pentacles is that, you know, whatever change of heart that you may have, it's totally viable, it's totally fair. Whatever change of opinion that you have, that's a value. That's something that you can value, of course, right? Because it's your opinion. Let's see why we have the hangman coming out. Wow, okay, no hesitation. The hangman, the four of wands. Seeing the different perspective of a relationship. Some of you guys may be that, you know, maybe you've committed to somebody before, you're liberated from, you know, from that relationship. Maybe that's something that you come out of, maybe you feel stronger, more, you know, powerful in yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that, but perhaps the situation, like I was saying before, may not be control issues, but that you're okay with doing things on your own and not needing anybody else, or not wanting anybody else. There may be something here that's indicating that seeing the relationship, seeing relationships from a different perspective can broaden in your your already strong foundation right teaming up with somebody else and it may be you know it may be that the situation here with the two of swords was so hard that it's difficult to even consider someone else it's very difficult to even look at someone else because of everything that you've been through to make such a hard decision in the first place perhaps you've committed in the past and it was that you had to make this strong decision that makes you feel like, you know what, I'm good on my own. I don't need anybody else. And that's the gilded cage that you're looking at. Because you've already evolved from some sort of situation here. Even though it was liberating and it was empowering, it still was difficult to make. It was still a hard adjustment to kind of get used to, but you're in used to it. And you don't want to compromise that. Some of you guys, right? It may just be hard that you you just come such a long way that being in this energy is something that is familiar that's something that you can trust but it does it can limit you it can't like the devil is telling me that there may be limits that's being put on certain things there's limitations limitations not just from what you're doing but from what you're not able to receive because you're so go 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 if that makes sense and Leo got an energy, a card that talks about surrendering to non-action. I wonder if you guys make it the same thing. Because you guys have been so independent and so driven. Have you been able to allow things to come in? Have the three of like the three of wands, are you allowing things to come in? Like the three of wands doesn't necessarily just stop and let things come in. But have you been willing to receive stuff? That's the big important thing. Have you been willing to receive it? Because of what you may have done, or maybe what you may have gone through in the past that makes it hard for you to want anything from anybody. Perhaps there may have been some sort of codependent energy in the past, or codependent energy that you may be worried about, or maybe there's some sort of perspective from this, you know, from how relationships have been in the past where somebody's been narcissistic, codependent, controlling, and you just don't know if this next individual coming in can be trusted in that regard, right? Because you can trust yourself. You're not going to put yourself in a corner. Some of you guys may be dealing with something like that. And I feel like with the cups, the king of cups, this person may rock your world. This person may present to you a new way of seeing love. But it comes from the perspective from you. It has to come from you. Well, it has to come from you. It has to be you that truly commits to it, right? Because this person can offer, but it doesn't mean you'll accept, right? And it can indicate that maybe there was a period between you and another individual that may need a break and to start something new. But the King of Pentacles is all about what you see is valuable and what is willing. What are you willing to commit to? And if this is something that you can truly commit to based off of seeing a different perspective in regards to relationships. Let's go ahead and clarify the devil there in the external energy. Let's 
Oh, wow, the King of Swords. The Devil in the King of Swords. The problem probably is that it's the... Uh, okay, so maybe something very similar to last week. With the King of Swords, he has no issues with cutting people off. He has no issues with standing his ground. The Devil is probably that you make you feel connected to an Aquarius or feel connected to an a Libra or Gemini. Someone that you feel a strong tie to. Someone that already knows who they are, knows what they want, knows what they're going for. Now, at the same time, if this is you, it could be that the situation is it's hard to break the pattern of, of, of this feeling that you know everything. Now, the King of Swords, he doesn't ever ask. He doesn't ask questions. I don't see the King of Swords ever ask questions because he knows all the answers. He knows. That's the King of Wands. He, the King of Swords, he knows. Whatever he thinks, he can manifest. Whatever he... You know, he has a strong boundary f you know, fortress, or f strong boundary system, there we go. And he's been through enough to know what he will and will not tolerate, what he will and will not do. He's not compromising in, in as far as uh, belief systems, but he doesn't, he doesn't, will not judge you for yours. And I kind of get this feeling that the devil with the king of swords could be that there was somebody that may have been very cold to you in the past. This could be that you've been dating an, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and they, not, they weren't cold, but they have a strong connection to you. Or maybe you feel very strong, can, you know, have a strong connection with them. Or is that the situations with the emperor is that you may feel like you know everything, therefore you don't need anything. Or perhaps you know everything, and you want something, but you know t you, you know the the appear you know the ideal of knowing everything keeps you from having things, right? So let's get a little bit more information with the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords coming up for the Devil? What is the King of Swords trying to tell us about the Devil? Come out, come out. Don't come out face down. All right, yeah. Commitment to real, you know, relationships, routines. The higher, the higher front when it comes up, as you see, it's all about the roots, right? Where did this person come from? And this sort of discipline, um, sort of energy about the King of Swords is straight on. You have a routine, you have a structure. You have your own way of doing stuff, and I don't think you're not. I don't think you're opposed to receiving because the king, the three of wands, right? You are looking for it. It's just that there may be some sort of, there may be something blocking you. Not necessarily anything outside of yourself, of course, but I feel like the pattern in which you go about manifesting a relationship may be a little harder, or perhaps wanting a sort of different commitment may be hard because of some way of seeing something. Now, you may have already, it could be that the situation is that you're not willing to compromise, you're not willing to bend anything for your relationship or for receiving relationship if you're single because you already have somebody in mind because the king of cups is in your future right you already know who this person is now it could be that you're not interested in anyone else you're looking for that one person that you're currently in a commitment with okay so it could be that it may have nothing to do with control or feeling more safe knowing that you have you know that you're under you know under you and you're not necessarily considering anyone else it's easier to just consider yourself instead of constantly you know considering other someone else's needs and probably being in a situation where someone else doesn't right it could be so it could be that you're waiting for somebody that you already want in your life to come in but you're not interested in anyone else it could be that there's very specific energy around that. Now, some of you guys may not have anyone specifically that you have in mind for this. You know, it could be that you have stronger boundaries. And the devil could be that it's resistant to people that kind of 
bring about a certain pattern. And that's not a bad thing either. You know what you want, you know what you're going for, and the devil's outside of you. Meaning that you're not entertaining anything that's less than what you want, right? The King of Swords will not entertain the devil. The King of Swords doesn't get stuck. He doesn't feel trapped. He doesn't feel like um, the situation has to go either way or another. He it knows that it has to go his way or the highway, and it's very similar to the Emperor. So I kind of get this vibe that, you know, there isn't, there is... There's something about commitment that may actually not necessarily scare you, but that necessarily doesn't isn't very appealing to you. And I think that's why the hangman's coming up with the king of pentacles. So something about seeing the seeing relationships from a different perspective um, that can strengthen you going forward, and not necessarily make you feel like you can't indulge and enjoy like something like that. Um, you know, and still feel free, you know, still feel like you're in control. Your hopes and fears is the Four of Swords. And I kind of feel like you guys want to heal from this. I feel like some of you guys, you've been through a lot, of course. And some of you guys may just want to straight up rest, take a break, because you guys have been going for a while, right? Maybe you guys have been working hard and doing your own thing for a while, you know, just trying to stabilize yourself kind of trying to feel stable in some area but maybe there's something here that maybe the four of swords is talking about resting and just uh, accepting how you're feeling in the moment you know the four of swords and the hopes could be you know like could be that right wanting the rest but the fears it could be that there may be um something that was temporary something that you know that may have been a small pause but you know, kind of re resumes. Let's see what the four would maybe are. What the four of swords and your hopes and fears is really trying to tell us. The seven of wands. I don't know if you guys are wanting this break to end, or you guys are willing to extend the break. Maybe some of you guys are not necessarily ready for this break to end. Maybe this time of period of being single is something that's nice for you and you feel really good about it. And you're not really sure if you want the other person to come in already or not unprepared, maybe. Either way, the seven, the five of swords, oh, excuse me, who's the five of wands? Not the seven of wands. The seven of wands looks so similar. But the five of wands, conflict. Excuse me. The five of wands is what's being clarified by the four of swords. So Virgo, you may be dealing with, maybe the situation is that you want a break from the constant fighting, maybe from the constant bickering. Maybe you have, you're currently in a relationship with somebody and you're constantly fighting with somebody. Or maybe that you want this break to result in healing and not even more conflict. But the situation with this five of wands is that it's just a challenge. It's something that's intense in the moment, but dies usually really quickly because there's always, there's, you know, with things being dealt with in the moment, the higher, you know, the higher the potential for a resolve can be. So I kind of get this feeling that for some of you guys, you're not necessarily looking forward to um, your break or your break from something of something that deals with turmoil to kind of come up. Some of you guys are ready, ready for the resolve, ready for it to be over so you can handle whatever is stressing you guys out if there's any stress. But you don't see any stress here. Um, I kind of just get that this feeling that, you know, whatever this break is, there may be some kind of conflict, and it may be either exciting, maybe you don't really want that, but there's something with regards to conflict that's there, and there's maybe some sort of, you know, desire for there to something to resolve or not. But your outcome shows the Queen of Pentacles, and I do like the Queen of Pentacles coming out in the in the end here because that is your energy. Um, you don't necessarily loan your energy to the Queen of Pentacles, but this is a very good earth energy to to have coming from the two of swords not sure of what to do but then to feeling stable feeling committed to a certain structure certain path feeling committed to your relationships and feeling like you're putting you know good you know hard effort into building something that can honestly lead you to something more right but ultimately be feeling good in your body feeling good in your in your, in your place of finances and feeling good in your relationships, you know, feeling like you're connected with somebody that definitely has your back too. I think there's somebody here. I think this is someone else though. Because how you, the, the advice came of the King of Pentacles. I think that you're the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. And then someone outside of you is the Queen. 
Okay, I feel like there's somebody coming in. And that may be, you know what, it could be that you're the King of Pentacles and there's somebody else, this person, the King of Cups, is the Queen of Pentacles for you. You see this person as your second, you know, as your, as your better half, right? And this is what the energy brings in, right? I always see the, I always see the future and the outcome is very similar. I feel like there may be this somebody that comes in um, that you know that you know, and you extend the cup too, like I'm saying, because this person you see it as your person. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Power of Serena card for this week. Well, that is a flip. So, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. And that's what literally we were talking about. There may be certain things that you may think about relationships that may not even apply to you anymore. That may, that may never apply to anyone else. And it's about taking a chance or, you know, taking a chance and knowing that your boundaries will keep, you know, things in line. Okay? Because you learn from things from the past, Right? You've successfully evolved from there. There's always something that you've taken from that that will benefit you moving forward. It's just now changing the certain pattern or belief system that keeps you from being able to expand the magnificence that you are. And it may be relationships. It may be um, a business even a business partnership of some sort, right? Some some other way, some way um, around partnerships. Period. That you may have to look at right now. So let's take a look at your whispers of love. Wow. Demonstrate love. All right. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. And that's why I was saying, I think that King of Pentacles, I think I said that King of Cups is you. I think the King of Cups that offers comes in with an offer of love, you know, coming from a place of healing and rest, it was re ready to start something new in love and create a, a wonderful relationship with somebody that they see as their a better half. Because when I see the emperor and the empress, that's a, already in my eyes, a divine partnership. So you may have someone that's around you that means something very significant to you, but it's just about how you approach it from what mindset that you have that may no longer apply to you in the past because you've already successfully evolved from that. There may be new opportunities here that are knocking on the door. It's all about what you do with it. And the kings, when I see kings come out, that's the action takers. Even the king of cups, even though he's the most passive out of all the kings, he's the most passive out of all the yang energies. He's still going to extend and always going to take action before, you know, before anything, right? Because that is what he truly wants. And I feel like acting on what you truly want is the best way to go. And I feel like some of you guys, you may be acting on that now anyway, 